Well, hello there. Fancy meeting you here. Listen, we need to talk. YouTube says the majority of my audience is male, and I know that usually when a husband or boyfriend hears the words, we need to talk, <laughs> it's not a good, not a good thing. <laughs> You're not going to have fun for the next little while, but maybe this will be a little different. I don't know. I figured it's one year out since I started this thing, so why not a state of the channel address. You Americans have heard of the State of the Union address. This is a state of the channel. I lit some candles so we could have a little fireside chat since I don't have a fireplace. But yeah, this channel began in earnest one year ago and I think it's time for some changes. Stick around to find out exactly what I'm talking about. As I'm sure you've noticed, I'm not in my usual spot. This time I moved into the living room, which is, you know, just like most living rooms that come equipped with a giant ring light. <laughs> so yeah, it was roughly this weekend, one year ago, that I decided to pour myself into this YouTube channel. YouTube kept serving me up bicycle videos and I kept seeing guys like me out riding and I thought I need to do this and I mean I don't know I just kind of overnight I decided I am gonna commit myself to making this thing work for a year I'm gonna give it everything I've got for a year and just see what happens First, there was no real format. Well, the first time I went out, the very first video, which was to announce what my intentions were, that one included footage from Unity Park, part of the Swamp Rabbit Trail in Greenville, South Carolina, my hometown, and my home trail. That trail picks up just steps from where I live. The Swamp Rabbit Trail, or as they call it in the old country, El Swamp Rabito. I'm just kidding, nobody, <laughs> nobody calls it that. <laughs> but anyway, so I thought it would be fitting during this video, if I go back to Unity Park again and ride the Swamp Rabbit in and around and through Unity Park, and so you'll be seeing some of that footage interspersed throughout this video as we talk about what has happened during the past year and how things may be changing going forward. I started watching uh, what I call the YouTube gurus. There's several of these channels where they give advice on how to do YouTube. Um, a lot of the advice is not really applicable to me or to everyone, but every once in a while I would pick up on tidbits. And so throughout the past year, I have been implementing things that these guys and girls would say regarding how to do YouTube, how to set up your channel, the best ways to try to attract viewers and all of that sort of thing. I think I've hit on something 
that I'm comfortable with and that people seem to enjoy, although I think some changes are coming. We'll talk about that later on. Stay tuned. So as I listened to these YouTube gurus tell me things to do to grow the channel and ways to build it properly, I decided on May, I think it was May 7th, I hit on something that I believe made a big difference and that was consistency. See, when I first started, I was just like, you know, I'll go ride a trail whenever I can and I'll upload the video as soon as I get it edited and you know, we'll just do whatever, whenever. But I decided at some point, I noticed, I went on, uh, went, I did a deep dive into the YouTube analytics and found out that the majority of my audience was online, was on YouTube Sunday nights around, you know, six to eight o'clock or something like that. Now it changes. Now, I, the last time I looked, I think it said that you guys tend to be on YouTube like most nights, most early evenings, but it said Sunday night. And so I said, okay, I'm going to make a commitment to uploading a long form video every week. Be consistent with it. That means I've got to find enough trails that I can physically get to. I, you guys, I work a full-time job. Um, in addition to that, I've got to find time to go and visit these trails, ride the trails, videotape the trails, which if you've ever done what I do, you know that it's not just as simple as just riding the trail. It's sort of like riding the trail three or four times because you have to go back and do the pass by shots and ride over the same bridge five times to get all the angles that you want. I mean, there's a lot of stopping and starting and it, it's a whole thing. It's, it's a day. It's a whole day. I don't care how long the trail is. By the time I get finished doing what I do uh, video wise, it, uh, it, it basically kills an entire day. And then the editing. Oh my gosh. I mean, those of you who have done video editing, when you watch my videos, and I'm not saying this as, uh, you know, my videos are so great. No, it's just that I've chosen to use a certain aesthetic, a certain style that involves a lot of shots, a lot of shot changes. And so the editing takes a long time. So that was quite a commitment to say, I'm gonna be able to put a new long form video on the channel every single Sunday night. But you know what? I Since I started that on May 7th, I believe it was, I've not missed a single Sunday. And I think that has been a critical ingredient to the success of the channel. because people could count on there being a new video there. You could set your watch by it. I didn't disappear for long stretches and people wonder, hey, what happened to that channel? So I really believe that consistency was a key factor in growing the subscriber base to a thousand and beyond. Something else I started doing as a result of encouragement from the YouTube gurus was repurposing my content uh, and releasing two or three shorts, I think three now, like three shorts 
during the week. So I just take a segment or a section from a long form video and uh, kind of cut it down, maybe move a couple of shots around and post it as a short, even though personally I hate shorts to hell and back. But <laughs> they say that you should do it. They say that you should do it to be successful. So I'm like, well, if I got to do it, I'll do it. But I heard a guy say one time, if God intended us to watch vertical video, we would have been born with one eye on top of the other. We were created with eyes that are lined up horizontally on either side of our face so that it works out perfect for us to watch 16 by 9 aspect ratio widescreen video. I'm pretty sure that's what God had in mind when he created human beings. Vertical video. Ugh. But, you know, I do it. So we've been at it for a year. Let's take a look at the numbers, shall we? Now, we've gone from 100 subscribers at the end of January 2023 to just over 1,900 in a year. It took from January to mid-November to go from 100 to 1,000. But then I went from 1,000 to almost 2,000 over the course of just, what, two or three months? So yeah, once you get past, seems like once you get past 1,000, and there was one video that really took off. The um, Virginia Creeper Trail Part 1 has 17,000 views. I don't know if YouTube just decided to really push that one or if it's because it's the Virginia Creeper Trail. Maybe it's just because it's a great, you know, Hall of Fame rail trail and people were interested in it. Um, yeah, 17 grand on that one. kidding me in a year and so when I look at those numbers you know it's really gratifying because I was like I'm gonna really pour myself into this I'm gonna focus on it hard for a year and see if I can make this thing happen I'm monetized now but I don't make a lot of money we can talk more about that in just a second plus my news is coming up as far as changes to the channel we're gonna to have to talk about it. So I'm happy that I'm making money, happy that I've got about 2,000 subscribers, but I'm not making a lot of money, not near enough money to offset the expenses, to be quite honest with you. YouTube is not a get-rich-quick scheme. As a side hustle, it kind of sucks. I mean, unless the channel grows and grows and grows and grows way beyond what it is right now, it's going to be very hard for me to even offset the expense of, you know, motels when I do bike trips and video equipment that I purchase and just the time spent shooting the videos and editing. Anybody that tells you YouTube is a great side business is basically feeding you a line of bull crap because, I mean, you have to love it. At the end of the day, you have to love it. And that's what I decided when I started doing this. I was like, look, I'm going to be riding my bike anyway. I'm going to be out riding these trails anyway. I might as well press record because I, you know, I enjoy shooting and editing the videos as well. So I enjoy riding the bikes, enjoy exploring the trails, enjoy editing and 
creating the videos, so why not? It's kind of a win, 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 win. And the money that I get, which so far is a little bit of money, that's just kind of a side benefit. So about that change that's coming, my big announcement. I'm getting a little burned out. Really, for the past year, outside of my job and this channel, um, beyond those two things, I, I have no life. <laughs> Getting a little burned out. It's, uh, it's become sort of a, a grind. There's sort of a, a pressure to get that video done and out every Sunday night. So, the change that's coming is not that I'm going to end the channel or anything like that, but I have decided that I'm going to cut back to two uploads, two major trail reviews per month. Basically kind of cut in half what I've been doing. Instead of a trail video every week, I'm going to do one every other week. And I think that will sort of free me up uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. <laughs> enough that I can get a few other things done besides just work and YouTube. And I hope that you guys don't mind that. I hope that you'll still be with me and uh, you know stick around and be there to view the videos. Now because I'll be doing fewer trail reviews, I'm going to be a little bit more picky about the trails. I'm going to try to go to some really good, really nice high profile trails. And you may be thinking, well, what about those little, like, little music videos you do or bike stories and that sort of thing? Yes. Now, I enjoy the bike story videos, and I'll continue to do those. If something crazy or funny or outrageous happens, I will continue to do those. And maybe, you know, there's, there's going to be four months throughout the year where there are five Sundays. Maybe in a month where there's five Sundays, I can drop in a bike story. But yeah, that's the big announcement. Got to cut back a little bit. But I'm going to be picky and choosy about the trails I take on and hopefully really make it worth your while as a viewer. Don't tune out quite yet because I've got a request to make of you at the very end of this video. But first I want to say thank you if you are someone who has subscribed to the channel. If you're a person who leaves nice comments, um, Man, there's so many of you guys that I've gotten to know uh, from afar, digitally. Uh, I really appreciate your comments. I feel like I know you, even though some of you I've never met you or seen you in real life. But we do communicate on the channel. I appreciate your comments. If you're someone who leaves uh, comments, thank you for that. If you're someone who leaves a like, you know, clicks on the, th on, if you click on the thumbs up button on the videos. I appreciate you and thank you for that. You guys have all been a part of making this channel as successful as it has been. And hopefully it'll just keep going. You know, I'd like to see that subscriber rate just keep climbing and um, really kind of do some really cool and great things with this thing as time goes on. But thanks a lot. Thank you so much for all of you who have been supportive. I really appreciate it. Lastly, if you have any suggestions about things that you would like to see happen here on this channel, you're always free to leave those. I mean, like, you know, maybe you'd like to see some product reviews or maybe an Ask Me Anything video or a Responding to Comments video. I think that might be kind of fun. Um, I've thought about doing a video on the channels that I watch, the creators that I enjoy, the bicycle YouTubers that have inspired me. But yeah, let me know what you'd like to see and any categories of videos that you would enjoy seeing as we go forward. Maybe a video series on the making of bicycle videos, how to film yourself riding a bicycle, 
um, sort of a maybe a bullet point approach of how I create these videos. Maybe you would uh, enjoy that. You can let me know. Again, I decided to lean in and focus everything I had on this channel for the first year. And overall, I'm really happy with the results and look forward to doing the same thing during season two. Hopefully all of you will remain along for the ride. Let's continue to explore bike trails and hopefully find a little joy in the journey. What do you say?